It can be particularly hard to read cats and know what they are thinking and feeling. Cats communicate in their own way, and if you pay close enough attention, you may be able to spot the signs of an unhappy cat. So if you are worried that your cat is depressed or unhappy, here are some warning 13 signs to look for. Number one, tense body language. Cats speak volumes through their body language, and they have a number of ways of physically communicating that they're unhappy. If you notice that a cat's ears are back, their fur is standing on end, or their tail is tucked instead of raised high, they likely aren't feeling their best. It's common for cats to tense up while they're playing, but a happy and healthy cat will relax afterward. Number two, increased or decreased appetite. Like humans, if a cat is feeling low, it can directly affect their interest in food. If a cat is depressed, they may suddenly stop eating. They may even turn down their favorite treats. While less common, unhappy cats may also increase their food intake as a way to self-soothe. Regardless of whether they're eating more or less, a change in eating habits can indicate that cats aren't feeling like their normal happy selves. Number three, vocalizations. Cats can be pretty vocal animals, but if you notice a change in their vocalizations, it could indicate that something is awry. In particular, a loud, mournful yaw low in pitch can be their way of saying that they're unhappy. While purring often means a cat is content, depressed cats may purr more than usual to comfort and soothe themselves. Additionally, excessive purring can also indicate that a cat is unhappy. Number four, aggression. Aggression can also be a sign that your cat is unhappy, especially if it is unusual for your cat to show unwarranted aggression. Because cats can't necessarily say how they are feeling, they may instinctually lash out. This is their way of trying to let you know that something is off and they aren't happy with it. Their fear response may be especially sensitive due when they are unhappy. Unhappy cats might interpret normal things as threats which is why they might bite you when picked up or scratch you as you walk by. Number five changes in grooming habits. If your cat is unhappy, they may even change the way that they groom themselves. This can take two dramatic turns depending on how your cat is feeling. Some cats may start to severely over groom themselves, which can result in hair loss. This is often a way to self soothe and make themselves feel better. Or your cat might stop grooming altogether. This is often a sign that they are more than unhappy and have started to become depressed. Number six, change in sleeping pattern. Cats can get up to 16 hours of sleep daily, which is why if you notice that they are sleeping a lot more or less, then something may not be right with them. This could either be as a result of a sad feeling or sometimes caused by an ailment. Other factors that may contribute to the change in your cat's sleeping habit could be relocating them to a new sleeping spot. Number seven, destructive scratching. Scratching is a normal cat behavior, and they scratch as a marking behavior to deposit their scent from glands on their paws. According to the Cornell Feline Health Center, cats also scratch to remove the translucent covering, the sheath, from their claws. While scratching is normal, excessive, destructive cat scratching is when cats scratch at household objects that aren't their scratching posts or acceptable scratching spots rather than their usual acceptable spots. Number eight changes in bathroom habits. A sad cat may use their own scent to feel better by urinating in inappropriate places. There are many reasons for urinating outside of the litter box, but stress, depression, and sadness are high on this list. Your cat may urinate in high value areas such as lookouts, your bedroom, or places where the scent of a deceased pet or missing human lingers in order to spread their own scent. Also, if your cat soils outside of the litter box, this should raise a red flag. Number nine, increased hiding. Cats naturally love to hide and find those precious hiding spots. However, it can also become a way to self-soothe and find comfort. If they suddenly start to become particularly reclusive and distant, this could be a sign that your cat is unhappy. Unhappy cats tend to be more on edge, fearful, and even stressed, which is another reason why they may hide. It can also be a way to get away from their normal activities if they are feeling particularly down. Try to pay attention to how often your cat slips away. They might just have a favorite hiding spot, or it could mean that they aren't happy. 
Number 10. Suddenly becoming needy. Cats are known for being aloof, independent, and moody. But in reality, every animal has its own personality. Some cats are cranky, others are cuddly, and others like their humans to know who's boss them. If that changes, it's cause for concern and may indicate feline depression. Many cat owners talk about how their cat curls up in their lap, smooches them in the morning, and is the perfect companion. Should this suddenly change, then don't put it down to the fact she is just being a cat. Number 11. Climbing the walls. Unlike their human counterparts, cats literally go off the wall and on when they're upset. This bad behavior, particularly when they have been properly trained to follow your house rules, can be one of the signs of a depressed cat. Their bad mood might be stemming from boredom, so make sure you're providing plenty of stimulation for a depressed cat. Number 12 Clingy or Withdrawn Behavior When she's down, my cat follows me around, even to the toilet, which is frequently the case if you just brought home a new kitten. Your cat is vying for your affection and focus, which are currently being shared between the two of them. In addition, because you are the person they love the most, they will want to be near you when they are down in order to seek comfort from you. However, some cats will withdraw rather than become overly attached. Cats with depression can become socially reclusive, much like depressed people can. They entirely lose interest in social interaction and give up on having fun. As a result, if your cat hides and behaves strangely, this may be a sign that they're depressed. Number 13 Disinterest in Normal Activities The last but not least way to identify an unhappy cat is by simply noting if your cat is interested or disinterested in their normal activities. Just like with babies, if your cat becomes less responsive or involved in their toys or running around the house and doing other usual activities, then it could mean that they are sad or unhappy. Cats are pretty emotional, so when something is off with them, it's easy to spot. Their energy levels will reduce, and they will just lay around doing nothing, which can often be mistaken for being lazy. In other cases, they will reduce their interaction with the owner significantly. Final thought. Don't panic when you observe depression to your pet. Just bring them to their vet and listen carefully to what their vet has to say. A happy cat is a sign of a healthy one. So don't just ignore them suffering from sadness or depression. As a pet lover and owner, you have to do something. Being with them and feeling loved by their owner is a good practice and a good treatment for your cat to stay happy and healthy.